and welcome to another figure review. Today we'll be looking at the SA Trigger Arts Kamen Rider Wizard Water Style. We're gonna take this guy out of the box. I mean, you've seen everything. It's a nice window box. As Kamen Rider, I like the Dragon logo going around here, and it's like I don't know if you can see that, but there's like some blue in there, so it looks like a gem itself. The, the plastic over here. We have a gem over there, character over there, Bandai Tamanishi Nations. And the common Rider logo, and some more stuff, poses, but uh, we'll be looking at that right now. So there he is, straight out of the box, common Rider water style, common Rider wizard water style. So, overall likeness as usual, I don't really know, I don't want to show, but I looked at some pictures and uh, that looks accurate to me. And there we have a first problem, which I'll be addressing, I mean, I guess right away. This kind of falls off all the time. I don't know if I haven't really attached it properly, but it seems like there's a little bit of, I don't know, unclean. This is pre-owned for the record, so I'm not blaming this really on the figure. It might be, you know, the fact that it's pre-owned, that it's not really staying on there. I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm not used to SA Trigots having a problem with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I like the the white wizard didn't have a problem like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask and assume it's a little bit of a thing that it's pre-owned, but it's not a problem. I mean, I'm gonna glue it on. I'm just gonna leave it off for the review, so it doesn't fall off all the time and distracts me. Anyway, figure itself. I mean, just look at this. I love the gems in here. They're like all kind of translucent very nicely done and it looks extremely shiny in the light it's because it is it looks very nice you have the dragon logo going on over here also molded on it's not just painted on there's some depth to it and all of it i mean it's it's what i came to it's what i come to expect from sh figures pretty much it looks very 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 good and again, that's, that's really the thing that caught my eye with these weird wizard figures, is like all the gems here and stuff. That's really unique. He has the rope. Same like the white wizard. That's not just not the uh, poncho part. Not the rope up here over the shoulders. He has a uh, small little shoulder pads, but I kind of prefer that, I think. I don't know. I like it both. I like them both. I like them both very much. So, I mean, plain detail. Paint is clean, detail is amazing. You have the jumps going on here. And all that good stuff, as I already mentioned. The dragon logo on the shoulders. Nice little blue. He also has the rings, just like the white wizard, which I probably will not get the camera to focus on. This one is the ring of the hands. And this one is basically his mask. With the blue the blue in it. Nicely painted. Got them translucent gems. Oh, by the way, the uh, part that always falls off. Also, the hand is translucent, actually, which uh, gives it a nice look. There you go. Nice and detailed. You got the stones over there. Also, nicely painted, nice and detailed. There are the small masks in there for the land style, fire, and wind style. What do we got uh, going on on the legs? Not much, but, uh, you know. It's accurate. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Main detail. SH. I'm just gonna call it SH Figure Arts level. Which usually usually means amazing. I... Do I have an SH Figure Arts that I'm not happy with? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. There are some here and there that have some little nitpicks, but there is not one that I, I would say, oh my god, this is crap. This is crap. No, they're all amazing. Alright. Um, you, know, you could say I'm a fanboy, but I'm just, you know, happy with the product. There's not, as I trigger us, does not disappoint. Alright, articulation. The head, very much. I mean, I'm gonna try to go with it fairly fast, because this is basically... The white wizard had the same 
stuff going on. He has a fairly long neck, although the mask blocks him from looking down a lot. But uh, you can move him up here in the head and you can move the neck around, so you can work around with that. There's a huge gap here in his helmet, just like the White Wizard. Same thing. Doesn't really bother me because you don't really see it. Unless you really like, uh, you really want to pose where he's just looking up into the sun or whatever. I don't know. Alright, you have the arms. Again, same as the wizard. It has the shoulder pads which are attached to the arm, so it always moves around with it. it doesn't stay in place or something. If that bothers you, well, deal with it. it has a swivel up here. Elbows. Yep. Go like that. And forward. There you go. So then we have the hand. Moves around perfectly, goes up and down, as much as the scope. Well, that's it, and you can hear the squeak, so it's doing a great job with that, really. But they always kind of stand out here, you can see the ball in there. So, you know, you can move that around, rotate that around as much as you want. Very nice. Torso articulation, goes back and forth, again, the, the regular stuff. You've seen some message. If you've seen some SH figures, you know you know what's up. There's nothing mind blowing mind blowingly different about this or new or anything. It's very good stuff, and it works, so you know. Don't try to fix something which is not broken. There you go. Belt is floaty, not as floaty as the white wizard. It's a lot tighter, but again, moves around, it's not hindering anything. As I move it around down here, yeah, torso articulation up there and here, moves around left and right and goes back and forth. All right, legs. Again, this is soft plastic. You can move that up all the way. Does not have any problem with it. There's nothing that breaks. There's nothing that loses color or anything. It's soft plastic. It gets out of the way very nicely, so you can. Do this and play soccer with your Kamen Rider. They probably... I wouldn't be surprised if they play soccer at some point. I mean, soccer's pretty big in Japan as well. Of all the soccer animes... Oh my god. I hated those. Well, they were funny. Every soccer match lasts like fucking... Hours. And the field was always like as big as like... I don't know. The field was like as big as a country. Because they ran and they ran and they ran. And I just keep getting... I got way off track. Oh yeah, you saw legs moving out, forward, the knees bent, has the same as the white wizard, has the knee pad on there, which I very much appreciate. So you don't see an ugly knee joint in there. Has the ankle rocker, lets the foot move side to side, back and forth, and has the toe hinge. No? There it is. Kinda of stiff, but it's there. Alright. So that's the figure. Articulation, color, painting, and uh, let's look at the accessories because he has quite a bunch. I'm very impressed by that. So I'm gonna first of all show you the base. You can see the base. It's translucent, translucent. Not not really translucent, but it's it's translucent blue with like the black painting over it, well printed on detail. Common Rider, Common Rider Wizard water style. With the nice little circles they have to summon stuff, I guess. Comes all the stuff, regular SH figures base. Much appreciated. Bases are amazing. So let's also look at the height real quick. He stands at about 15 inches, almost. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like maybe 14 and a half, something. 14 and a half to 15 inches, centimeters, which is. Um, six inches. There you go. Woo! Alright, let's look at the hands. All the left side hands. He has like an open palm hand. Which... I the camera would focus. Yeah, there you go. Open palm hand. All of the left ring on it with the blue mask thing. Open hand. And like a grab hand. Come on, camera, focus, please. Don't 
Don't be like that, girl. Girl. Not open hand. I like it. These are these small hands are always kind of like a hard to review with them big hands. And we have another grab hand, which is slightly more open than the other one. So there you go. For all the stuff. And you have the right hands. Again, an open hand. Like a more of a bitch slap hand, I guess. I mean, you have the pimp rings and everything going on. Another grab hand. Another pointy, double pointy fingers. That looks pretty cool. I like that. It does for good poses. And we have another kind of, I guess, transformation pose or something hand. You know, if you know like Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, or a lot of Japanese stuff, they're always like with their hands, hua hua hua, and then they do like pose and in the name of justice, I will make you vanish from my planet or something like that. So it comes with a big gun. It has tons of detail on there. Kind of like a trans translucent plastic, just white, I mean seafood plastic on there. It looks pretty nice, very cool. A little bit of red on there. And the hand, which I guess it's this thing that kind of transforms into his weapons. Even though the hand's a little bigger, I don't know. We also have a sword. Same thing, same style, with the hand on it, with see-through plastic in it. I don't know why, it's, why it isn't blue, since this is water style, you know. Wouldn't it be blue? I don't know. It also comes with a rope, which you can use for more action poses. You can just take this one off, you can disassemble him at the hip here. Take this off, this one off, and you put this one on. And you have more, you know, fighting poses and, I don't know, karate poses, whatever you feel like. That's a very nice option. It also comes with a different belt, just for that. So you can put the belt over and it doesn't get in the way. So there you go, it, it adds, it adjusts to the rope. And of course this belt comes with another thing. Which I got on a lot better, so I guess my, my main belt is kind of broken, but I don't know. Whatever, I'm just gonna glue it on, I don't have any problem with that. Alright, and that is the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Wizard Water Style. What do I think about this figure? It's amazing, quite frankly. I love all the little gems, all the little detail going on in there. There's nothing more you could ask for here. And this is coming, I just like the mold. Again, this is coming from somebody who doesn't even watch the show. I mean, I would watch, I would watch the show if I had more time, but you know. Kinda, kinda have to make cuts here and there, but uh. Camera is definitely something I would like to check out at some point. But anyway, figure is amazing. If you like great molds, if you like the SH figure arts articulation stuff, if you're familiar with the figures, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, this just amazing mold looks fairly unique. I like it. I like all the wizard, camera Rider wizard figures, and uh, I definitely recommend it if you can find it somewhere. I mean, this, these guys have been out. For a while, and I found them at a good price. I'm really happy about that. So, yeah. Recommendation. 10 out of 10. Get it. Okay, this is all for now. I'm gonna be back with more figure reviews. There's something about the review that you think I forgot, or something you feel it's worth mentioning. Write it down in the comments. I read all the comments and I reply to them. And uh, if you enjoyed the review, leave a like. If you wanna see more, you can subscribe if you want. I have figure reviews, I have gaming, all that good stuff. Alright, thank you everybody for watching and see you next time. Lights out.